Hey, good morning, Mario. Are you there? Good morning, John. Happy Easter. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. I was operating yesterday. Today I'm off with my daughters. Oh, good, good. Are you, are you watching on your smartphone? Yes, I'm watching from from my I, Apple. That's good. Uh, well, you know, this Zoom is going to change. Like during this webcast, you can you'll be able to wave your smartphone. And a QR code. Do, do you know what a QR code is, right? Yes. And and what do I do if I wave the smartphone? Yeah, in front of the QR code of the banner of the website, and it takes you to a demonstration of the products. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Of the sponsors. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. You know why that's important, Mario? Because sponsors will start back in these and paying for them, you know, yeah. like, so it'll be easy. I'll be able to go to you and say, Hey, we have a sponsor that will sponsor your talk. It's going to be a lot easier for you, for me than if I say, Mario, can you pay me, you know, $200 to televise you? Yeah. you know what I mean? So it's so much better to be able to have a, something sponsored. Of course, and of course. yeah, and I and I make some money. I get I get to pay for for a lot of things and maybe hire some people. Yeah, yeah, I expand the business. Yes, yes, yeah. It's got, I got to start running like a business uh, because people won't really donate much, you know. Mm -hmm. When you ask, uh, Shri, are you there? I'd like you to meet Mario. Shri. Yes. Hello, Sri. How are you doing today? Yeah, she's. Uh, I want to tell you her situation, uh, Mario. Sometime she's from my. Are you there, Sri? Could you please come on the yes. camera to meet Mario? Yes, can you... Okay. Uh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sri's a cute little girl from Myanmar. She's in Japan now, but she's lost her country. She can't go back and practice neurosurgery. <laughs> Could you, yes, it's could, okay. you, could, you, could you explain quickly to Mario, quickly? Uh, yes, I'm from Myanmar and Colin. Now I'm studying in Japan. Yeah. yeah. And you're trying to get a residency spot somewhere or what are you trying to do? Can I, <laughs> can I skip that? these questions? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Is it not good to tell in the line? So... I, I don't want to say about that. Okay, you don't want to talk about that? Okay, that's fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. But anyway, so how you been, Mario? He's with his daughters now. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I would be probably, you, Are you in a, work, in a park now? No, no, we are back home. We were in the park this morning. They were cycling. And uh -huh. uh, now they are having lunch. Do they want to say hi? <laughs> no, no, no. Let let leave them alone. They are they are eating nicely. In the, in the... Oh, yeah. you don't want to disturb them. And I will be uh will be operating uh for the next two weeks, and then again traveling to the U.S. So. Oh, really? Where are, you, where are you coming in the U.S.? I'm I'm going to uh Philly, uh, Schreiner. For some uh, to see some uh, pediatric scoli. Where, where Philadelphia? You say Philadelphia? Yes. Oh, I went to med school there. Oh, uh, the the hospital where that I'm visiting is a Schreiner Hospital for Children. Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, yeah. excellent hospital. And then one, then one of the one of the best. From there, I am I'm doing a course uh, with the American College of Surgeons, so I will be traveling to Chicago. Well, okay. Uh, and, oh, wow. Uh, fans in uh, Rochester. I'm visiting Mayo. Okay. So it's well, it's it's two weeks trip, uh, with the course in the middle. So you'll be here for a month or two, right? 
Uh, I was traveling uh, in February for all, almost three weeks. Uh, yes. Three weeks. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, India. Uh, so, are you taking a course? Or are you giving a course? Uh, so I'm uh, in in Chicago. I'm taking the course. Oh, okay. And Philadelphia, you're giving a course. Is is uh, basically a master course uh, on surgical education offered by the American College of Surgeons. Oh, okay. So. Very good. Are they televising that at all? Do you know? Probably mm -hmm. not. Yes, I've, I've been I've been teaching. You've been teaching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me take care of the kids once. Yeah, second. sure, sure, sure. I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Sure. Tree. Yes. Could, could you put your camera on? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you gotta move your camera because your your head's at the bottom. You like your head's at the bottom. Put it up there. Okay. Come on, put it up so up in the sun. Can you put a background? <laughs> you wanna put a background on? A background mm -hmm. onto the picture? No, you can put one on. Uh, Go. What would be a good back? See, that's why you don't want to meet. I can't really. You can put a good background on. Okay. No, go to. Okay, go uh, to. Yeah. There, that's good. it. There you go. Now put a professional one on. Put a I professional one. Okay. Of your hospital or <laughs> Myanmar. Put a professional one now. Uh, it's a professional it meeting. Be. Probably I don't have. Maybe I will prefer ones for later. <laughs> no, you you can't. Uh, I just want to identify you. You know, put something that identifies you. Yes, so yes, you, yes. You, you don't want to put your hospital in Japan, or, or mm -hmm. uh, the laboratory where you work, or uh, maybe a, a picture of Myanmar. Maybe a picture mm -hmm. if you want something. Okay, something. next time I. I would prefer the picture uh, my previous hospital from Myanmar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, next Excellent. Time. Yeah. Okay. Put that on. Make. <clears throat> we'll make this professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want to call right? Oh, Ben's here. Oh, Ben's here, Sri. Ben is here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hi, hi, Ben. Are you there? Are you a resident tree or attending? Actually, I'm finished. I just finished my PhD. Oh, you finished your residency? Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me let's see if I can get Ben. Ben, are you there? I'm glad he's here. I can't get a whole lot of hype.
So you couldn't get that background from the hospital? Hello, Dr. Yan, are you there? Dr. Yan? Can you hear me, Dr. Yan? Oh, okay. Uh, Dr. Yan? You're muted, Dr. Yan. I need to talk to you. You're because you'll be presenting soon. Yeah, can you put your head up a little bit higher? Uh, Shri? Yeah, higher, higher. It's too low. Your head, head is too low. There you go. Okay, that's better. Uh, hi, Dr. Yan. Good morning. Oh, it's a, it's maybe, uh, it's not, it's not in morning time. <laughs> it's the yeah, evening. It's the evening China. for you. We have 12, 12 hours difference. Yes. Okay, very good. You'll be speaking second, I believe. Ipe is going to be first. And uh, above you is Sri Yi. She's going to introduce uh, Dr. Ben, or Dr. Uh, introduce Ben, actually. Okay. Where's Ipe? Oh. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hey, this is John Bennett. Hi. Can you hear me okay? No. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Yeah, where's Ipe? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Do you know what Ipe is? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Oh. Ipe. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. What's that time? It's 8 o'clock, right? Is Ipe, uh, Ipe there? No, no, Dr. Ipe is, uh, I am in a different place, Dr. Ipe is in different place. Oh, okay, let me call him then. I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, Shri? Okay, you may have this. 
this is what you have to do sometimes. You have to kind of improvise. Uh, I can't get a whole lot. I, maybe he's in surgery. I don't know. You may have to introduce Zia Rong Yan. Okay, you see, okay, and you got you got his brief description from the banner, correct? Look at the banner and and see that I I believe he's from uh, Beijing Tiantan Hospital, and uh, um. the person and the title of his presentation there. Sometimes you got to fly by the seat of your pants and improvise. Hopefully he'll come. We got three minutes. <laughs> Try to get on the edge. Just be ready in case. Or I'll have, I'll try to get Ben, of course, if he can. Here you go, here you go. You want some coffee, Sri? Uh, I yes, I think <laughs> you, don't, you don't drink coffee <laughs> at night, right? Hey, I Wan drink Lee, coffee. Okay, Wan Lee's here, good. Uh huh. Yeah, he'll, he'll introduce the second mm -hmm. speaker. Wan Lee, you there? Let me get you in here. Good. One lays here. Hello, one lay. Hi, John. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. How are I'm you here. doing? Yeah. Very, very yeah, I saw Good. I saw Ben Shi also already online. Yeah. Yeah, and... I'd like to introduce you to Shui Yi. She's a neurosurgeon from Myanmar in Japan. She's going oh, to she's, yeah, she's going to introduce yeah. uh introduce uh Ben. Uh, if sure. he's here. I, ben is here, I believe. Ben, are you there? Yeah, yeah I saw. I thought he's online, but yeah, maybe he 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 did. Yeah, he didn't, we got a few uh, minutes. We got a few. We'll wait yeah, a few yeah. minutes, okay? Okay, sure. If not, so uh, today we have two speakers, right? Right. We, uh, the, I, uh, I'm having a hard I, time getting a hold of Ipe. We may have to go to the second speaker first, okay? Sure. Yeah, Doctor Yan from Fujian. Medical University. Yeah, you got his information, right? In the meanwhile, First. I'll try to get a hold of Ike. But maybe he had surgery. You know how it goes. So how you been, uh, Wan Lee? Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I'm. Hey, I'm do okay. you want to do you want to give a talk? Not not during this time, but another time. Uh, if sure. You, yeah, I you, can you do can, it. You can you can give it in Chinese if you want. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can do it uh, according to your schedule. That's okay. Yeah, we can do it in Chinese or English, whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, English is fine. Yeah, yeah, we, we have a lot of meeting in, in China, so yeah. Uh, so you'd rather, yeah. rather do it in English? Um, yes, I can, yeah. Well, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you later, but maybe we could get a few people together and have sure, a, yeah. you you and a couple of other people to do a cardio, a okay. cerebrovascular webinar. Sure. 
and get some Americans to see you guys. Okay. Great, you look great with that background. It looks good. Thank you. The Aurora Borealis, right? Up in uh, Finland, that's where it... <laughs> Okay. It's 8.01, maybe we'll start. Finn, are you there? Perhaps not. Hello. Oh, Hello, oh Ben. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, I'm, I'm still looking. To... Yeah, I I can see. I can see. Uh, uh, I I can't hold get a hold of bite, but you know how it is with neurosurgeons. Sometimes they go late. So I guess we'll go with the first speaker first. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, I'd like you to meet Sri Yi from Myanmar. She's going to introduce uh, the host, okay? okay. You, you, you've met her before, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's going to start announcing. So uh, I guess Sri just introduce, uh, introduce Ben, and Ben will take it from oh. there. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, okay 10, 9, now. 8. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good morning. This is Dr. John Bennett broadcasting from beautiful Miami Beach, home of Neurosurgical TV. We have another in the China Neurosurgical Journal uh, webcast, the bi-monthly, uh, run by Ben Zhu. And here to introduce Ben is Sri Yi. Yi. Good, way, good day, Sri. Yes, good day. Um, I'm Shri from Myanmar. Uh, I'm a neurosurgeon. And currently, I'm studying in Japan for the neurovascular. Uh, now, I would like to introduce about the Professor Bin. Uh, Professor Bin is like a very famous and uh, well-known neurosurgeon. And he currently working in Shanghai, uh, Fudan University, and Huashan Hospital. Uh, yes. And he, Yes, and he performs uh, around 2,000 bypass surgeries and every year. Yeah? Yes. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> Professor Beans, <laughs> okay, so this is your time to uh, teach us, uh, give us the lecture for the, uh, according to the vascular surgeries. Okay. Okay, Ben. Uh, you know, wipe hasn't arrived, so I guess we're gonna go to the second speaker first. Oh, second speaker. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yes. sorry. I, I closed the line. So, uh, Ben, uh, uh, you want to introduce uh, the speaker, or you want to have Wan Lee introduce him? What, what do you prefer? Uh, Lee. Yeah, I'm. I'm here. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. The doctor, yes. Please from, introduce okay. a speaker, you know. You know him. Yeah. Come on, go. I think, uh, uh, yeah, we should uh, uh, invite uh, Bain to, to introduce the, the speaker, the Chinese speaker, Dr. Yan. Yeah. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, my honest uh, professors and uh, our colleagues, can you? Hear me clearly? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And uh, the host tell me that I was the second speaker. So is that any change for it, or I'm the first one? Yes, uh, I'm for yeah. I yes. was probably in surgery now. Okay, so I'm the first one, right? Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, today, I was very honor to uh to share some of our, our <coughs> works on behalf of our uh, team and so uh can i just share out my pbt or it okay okay yeah. uh, can you see it yes perfect Okay, and uh, today my topic is joint and uh, irregular pituitary endocranial tumor surgeries comparison of the simultaneous combined endoscopic endonasal and a transcranial 
and the pure endoscopic and the nasal surgery. And it is our from our single center experience. So uh, as we all know, uh, the lack of the bony structure is above or lateral to the serotonin trigger makes it easy for the pituitary tumors to extend or invade the supracellar or paracellar regions. And uh, anatomically, about 80% of joint and irregulated pituitary endocranial tumors mainly extend towards the saddle and may exhibit lateral or lobulate growth. So from these uh, figures, and it is an intradural overview, you can see there are many ligaments or nerves or or arteries that consist of the many like uh, oculomotor triangle or intracranial triangles. So if a tumor, a pituitary tumor is growing bigger and bigger, and it may invade an in intradural space from the scapes or space. So if our endoscopic view, a surgery, will resect the tumor from uh, this case, it is very hard for, for surgeons to do this kind of job. Or if they, they want to cut open the ligament or the triangles, it is face the risk to hurt the damages, to hurt the, the nervous or the arteries. So what is kind of, how can we define the, the giant and irregular pituitary and neuroendocrine tumors? <clears throat> we think that the maximum diameter of all the tumor is greater than four centimeters. And the significant intracranial tumor extends to one or more of the following regions like anterior scalp base, uh, interpedanguitary system, paracellar area, middle cranial fossa, and their ventricle or and lateral ventricle. And the tumor breaches the cellular diaphragm or affect the nearby neurovascular structures, such as the circle of valleys, optic chiasm, uh, or hypothalamus, and uh, other main cranial nervous. And with the heart structure or recurrence tumor accompanied with the numerous fibrous scars. As we all know, and uh, the EES and uh, the transcranial is employed uh, prevalence by the uh, neurosurgeons to resect the, the, the pituitary tumors. And, uh, but there are some researchers say that the transcranial ES is uh, more effective for uh, safety. <clears throat> but even for the ES and for the jib uh, nets with a typical growth accompanying with the breakthrough of the uh, cellar septum goes beyond the fields of the view of the endoscope. Even if it is visible or on the angle, maybe it's 30 degree or 45 degrees endoscope, the surgical instruments still cannot reach it. Therefore, it is difficult to achieve the complete resection of this kind of tumor in the supracellar region. And the treatment of this kind of tumor is still challenging to neurosurgeons. So, how about a simultaneous combine this uh, endoscopic nasal and transcranial approach? And how about the effectiveness or the safetyness? So we enrolled maybe 81 cases for the CECS and compare with the uh, 23 cases for EES. And this is the demographic and clinical data for the patient in these two groups. And we can see that there are no differences for in, in these parameters. And this is the tumor imaging data of the patient in these two groups, uh, including the parameters in, uh, of in free regions, uh, knobs grade or hardy grade. There's also no differences. So this is the case for pure EES. As we can see from the figure A, and B, this is the preoperative MRI image. And we can find the tumor is a uh, breakthrough the, to the supracellar region, uh, especially for the right side. And uh, from the uh, fig E, F, G, H, you can see it is not, it's not difficult for us to resect the tumor in the intracellular regions, intracellular. But uh, after you resect the, the tumor below, 
you cannot directly see whether there's a tumor residue in the supercell region. If you want to see it, you may have to cut open the diaphragm to uh to resect the arachnoid, but you know, this may cause other problems like CS leak or any other things. So from the figure C and D, we can see there's a tumor residue, a little bit residue. So, so we choose to use the uh, CECS uh, approach. This is our surgical layout for this uh, approach. We still uh, have two regions for uh, surgeons. The right side of the patient is for endoscopic surgeon with the other side of the uh, patient is for a transcran transcranial surgeon. But if the tumor is, the main bulk of the tumor is at the right side of the uh, of the brain, we also choose at the same side. But you know, that is maybe a little bit narrow between the two areas. And this is the uh, layout for during surgeries. So let's see the first case. And this is a very huge case with uh, a very big and uh, extend to the cavernous sinus and the third ventricle. And uh, you know, the... so let's see the video. Uh, we cut open the dural and we, we see this is a very soft tumor. Thank God it's very soft tumor. It is, we can so we can use the suction for a tumor tumor removement. And we cut open the cap the medical wall of, of the cavernous sinus to <coughs> resect the tumor in it. And we can see the ICA in the inside and uh, and outside of the ICA. We trying to find the every kind of space in the cavernous sinus, but you know, it is very hard for uh, us to directly see where or whether there's a tumor residue in that kind of space. So we employ the transcranial approach to find, to help the endoscopic su surgeon. The transcranial operators just put uh, and just draw or push the, the tumor into the midline and uh, to help the uh, endoscopic su surgeon to remove it. So during this kind of surgery, we don't use the, the, the 30 degree or uh, 45 degree endoscope. We can just use a zero degree endoscope and to do the, all the tumor section jobs. And here we can see uh, the transcranial instrument. And this is the post of the MR image and CT. And also this is the for another case. From the MR image, we can see that this is a not for grade uh, pituitary adenoma. So we use the micro Doppler to detect the uh, partition of the, I, the left ICA. And as before, we make a, a debulking, tumor debulking from the uh, endoscopic approach. And after we remove most of the uh, intracellular tumors we which the transcranial operators can dissect the uh, inter interface to, to to resect the interface between the tumor and the, and the brain tissues or the arteries or from the arachnoid and draw draw the draw the tumors towards the midline orientation and help the endoscopic operators to do removement of the tumors. And here 
the uh, transcranial operators is not only a helper in, to uh, during the tumor uh, resection, but also he is an observer to make sure that there's no damage to the uh, arteries or the nervous in the supercellular regions because the for the endoscopic operators he it is very hard for him to see the regions in the supercellular region. And this is for the uh, post operative MRI and CT scan. And the third case is a tumor that is uh, in light, invading the space of the uh, uh, anterior skull base. Also, we do the same job like before. We do a uh, tumor debulking. Oh, sorry. And after the uh, humor debulking and the brain pressure was relieved and the transcranial operator will do the job as before to draw the patient towards the bed nine to protect the arteries from his approach to make sure there's no nervous or damages to the structures in a super area. And during this kind of process, uh, there are different kinds of two situations. The first is if the diaphragma is not interact, uh, the operator is in the uh, transcranial approach, we will remove the tumor uh, directly. But if the diaphragma is interact, he may just do the drawing jobs to uh, help the endoscopic operators to remove the tumor. Okay, we can see there's a ring here and we, we can use a uh, two orientation re reconstruction works. And this is the post-operative MRI image and CT. And for these cases, you know, the uh, is the, the tumor invade the you know invade the interpedangular space. So it is very important for uh, this case to protect the the valleys. This is this is the process of resecting the tumor in the cavernous sinus. And after that, we can do the transcranial jobs. We do it from the first space. And the second space. And uh, another important work is for the transcranial uh, operator is to make sure there's no breathing after the rec reconstruction of the uh, of this operation. For uh, heart texture cases, and uh, we can see. We can see that the texture is hard, so we cannot use the section to do the uh, resection of the tumor. You may find the tumor just suspended in the uh, supercellular regions, and you cannot reach it, and or it is very hard for you to draw it. The draw, the draw of the tumor is is may face some risks, so. In this kind of case, 
the uh, transcranial drawing, the pu pushing work is so important. Because uh, he can relieve the tumors from the supercellular region and push them into the intracellular regions for resection from the uh, below approach. And this is the uh, post operative images. So, and this is the outcomes of the surgical result and perioperative complications for this kind of uh, patient in these two groups. We can find the uh, extension of the operation rate for the uh, CECS is lower than the EES, as well as the post operative breathing rates. But the uh, intra uh, and your operative breathing broad, broader loss is higher and op operation time is, is also uh, for the CES compared with the EES approach. And uh, uh, the uh, recurrent rates and the operation rate is uh, lower for the CES for, compared with the EES approach. So uh, let's make a conclusion. So it's for First one, the CES is safe and feasible, but uh, and with better tumor removal and less post-operative breathing than the pure EES. And for the CECS, the tumor is guided to the endoscopic view by the transcranial surgeon, and clear visibility enables the precious tumor removal, enhancing the surgery safety and minimizing recurrence. The third point is the tumor breaches the SATA diaphragma removed by the transcranial surgeons and preserving the cellular diaphragma integrity may reduce the CSF leak and maximizing the tumor removal. And the fourth point is direct visualization protects blood vessels and the nerves from the supercellular tumors and minimizing the breathing. And use, using in, in, intracranial channels strengthening with the saddle area repair and lowering the risk of the CSF leak. And this is our professors of our, our hypothermic pituitary diagnosis and treat centers. And uh, this is our members of our, these centers. Uh, we work in the hypothermic pituitary disease union worlds. Thank you for listening. Thank you. This is, this is my uh, speak. Th speak. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Sri, can you moderate here? Are you there, Sri? Hello, Sri? Hello? Yeah, can, can you, you moderate, me? please? Yes, I I think this is a very interesting topic. And, uh, yes, uh, actually, I don't have any questions. And is there any questions from the audience or the and another panelist. Yeah, I'm sure there are. Uh, Takashi, welcome. Takashi uh, Sensei, hi. Do you have any yeah. questions? Uh, at the time, so I, 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 it uh, beyond my uh, beyond my special special specialty. So mm. uh, I know so, uh, so you have a great lecture because uh, due to my website travel, so I cannot see. So uh, I'm so sorry. So I have uh, not, not, nothing to comment. No comments. Oh, okay. uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Doctor, for great lecture. Okay, Takashi. How about uh, see how Shar, Are you there? Are you able to comment? Hi, John. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome, Harsha. Yeah. Yeah. It's an excellent talk. Very, very educative. Very understanding. An excellent job you can do with a uh, endonasal as well as transcranial together. Superb. I would like to ask when you are doing a transnasal endoscopic surgery, uh, are you doing on your own or your ENT colleagues are helping you? One. Second, when you are doing this and you are combining with the intracranial, do you drill out the tuberculum cellae also and open the intracranial fossa from the nose or always from the cranial side? And third thing, do you have any endoscope holder, like an 
आर्म रोबोटिक आर्म और जस्ट एज मैनुअल थैंक यू वंडरफुल थैंक्स फॉर योर क्वेश्चन and you know uh for uh, we do this kind of surgery just from the uh 2020 and, and 2020s and why we want to choose this kind of uh, uh, a, 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 a combined approach is that is because that we face the problems that we uh before like the tumor is texture is hard or the tumor is beyond the midline view so and or the the tumor is is is, is invaded in in uh, multiple uh, gaps or uh, lobulated shapes uh, so for this kind of tumor we uh it is very difficult for us to uh to resect the tumors just only by one approach so we trying to avoid the uh, nerve so artery damage is or to avoid the uh, bleeding after surgery so we find this kind of uh, combined uh, uh, approach can uh, solve most of the, pro uh, the the problems in the cases so that's my answer thank you thank you very nice demonstration and uh, very masterly activity you have done and removed such a big tumors very good excellent Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. Very good. Uh any more comments questions from the panelists? Let's see here. Who can I pick on? Oh Mario, are you there? Are you are you uh are you there Mario? You know, neurosurgeon from England. Perhaps he stepped away. uh let's see i guess anyone else have comments or questions okay uh thank you very much and uh unfortunately i think ip has run late in neurosurgery a common problem with uh neurosurgeons as everyone knows so uh so he won't be coming today we'll have to do it some other time uh but we welcome uh we, everyone to, that they came here and thank you for coming uh, uh any closing comments uh, doc perhaps not okay i okay thank you very much so uh, uh next week we have anil nandi he's a neurosurgeon from uh uh from new jersey uh he's going to be speaking uh don't have his topic uh with me unfortunately i couldn't come sorry about that but we'll see you in two weeks okay stick around see you john bye bye stick around <coughs> stick around okay. after the webcast we'll, we okay. may have a uh, one we may have uh videos from our sponsor after the right now after the webcast is officially over okay What uh Juan Lee, yeah, thank you Juan. Yeah, Lee. yeah. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. I I guess I think I got stuck in surgery, so uh, he yeah. was not able to come unfortunately. But uh yeah, thank you. Okay, very, yeah, yeah. Thank that's you very okay. much for coming <laughs> and we're going to go on to the uh, uh a demo from our sponsor. The the didactic part is over. So uh thank you very much. And let me see if the uh, is the uh, representative of the uh, of Sanma here. Let's see here. Perhaps not. Yeah. Nothing is yeah. going right today. One. <laughs> okay. So this, uh, this will, okay. This will officially end the webcast, but still stay here. Stay here. I'm going to try to get them okay. to do a demo.